my Kingdom Rush main campaign let's play. As you can see, if you observe it, the three stalled my second level. Well, I was recording and I accidentally crashed it. So, that happened. So let's go to level three. Progress. While your men celebrate your victory over the goblinoid and orcish troops, a messenger bears bad news. The township of Pagras is under siege by an overwhelmingly superior force. This is clearly an attack on the kingdom. War is upon us. That's a bit melodramatic, to be honest. So, how I usually start this one is put two Barrax down there and two Ultra Towers. As I said, main campaign, I mostly use Ultra Towers and Barrax. And the hero once I get him. Get him. Because I usually only use the uh, sword and shield dude, the uh, light bringle or something like that. Yeah, I think there's going to be like two new enemies in this area. Wolf. Wolf. Yeah, call me unoriginal, but yeah, I don't really change my uh, strategy to all that much until sub campaign. Sub campaign. Yeah, it seems to be effective strategy for now at least. Sorry for the little lag dip if it appears on the recording, but this is the best I can do with what I have. Hmm. Might just have to do one level pull uh, episode because they get longer and longer each time. Which is obnoxious, kind of. Okay. No one knew yet.
three. Yeah. So the new bosons coming in this round. Ooh, I didn't even notice I had that many. So shamans deal healers and have high magic resistance. They can also heal each other, which is a real pain if you have a bunch of them grouped up. But it's not the big issue yet in the smaller levels. Now I think I could probably pull off two two stages per round or per episode. I see. And if you have any tips for me to become a better YouTuber, uh, I will take any suggestions at the moment, basically. Okay. Oh no, not used to it. It's weird for me. Yeah, this is the first level that has two paths that enter one, which will be common sites later game. Mm. And if there's any suggestions for games, I'll take any. Not the best at whole games so, though, because I get really jumpy during them. So, like I said, with the, any tips for me, I would take any uh, any game thoughts into consideration. Well, game ideas that I should play. Oh, an ogre, big, dumb, and powerful, basically. I think I... No. Levels are deceptively long. Uh, yeah, I think I'll do one episode... One level per episode. Unless they're short ones. Or Iron or Heroic Challenges. I think I'll do those combined into one.
and that's level three pro progress done basically. Very easy. Done all later than expected. Uh, later than expected, so. So I'll show you what my uh, upgrade chart is. Oh, so Gerald Lightseeker is the one that I usually use. Even though I can unlock the others, I don't usually. Let's see if I can have each one work. Oh, I can. So that explains. So next, next episode, I'm gonna be doing all the heroic and iron challenges that I can do. So I can go up to let's see. So, so this one, a little thing that I didn't learn until I played this game twice, is this: the under the hammer and nail level two max. That means that it does level two towers and le the second tier, uh, the second group above the ones that I already upgraded is the ones that maximum. So I usually don't do the one that has a higher upgrade tier than mine. Oh, that's level two one two. So okay, I'm gonna be doing this row. And I own challenge. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.